Welcome travelers, this is Jorge Arnoldson of Tales from Motown and Beyond. I was told by someone that I had to do a sub-series somehow, so introducing Substandards. This week on Substandards, we'll be taking a look at the Publix Chicken Tender Sub. Topped with chicken, cheddar cheese, I just realized that Sub-Series has nothing to do with sandwiches. So, without further ado, let's take a look at this 1976 promotional film from the Chambers of Commerce of Tampa and St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, I'll still eat this sandwich anyway. It's not going to eat itself. Are you Hanrahan? Yes, I'm Hanrahan. Uh, but you can call me PJ. We're just Juice for sure. Nice to well, meet you, Prune Juice. I've only been on this job for three weeks, and I thought, good heavens, if I foul up on this one, it's back to chill a coffee for me. Yeah, <laughs> hey, uh, I didn't get your name. I don't Linda, get it. Linda Farmer, but you can call me Miss Farmer. Thank you so much for your help. Shall we go? We really have lots to do before you report to camp. So long, ah! PJ. I hope we don't come across any more nightmare fuel in this film. It is some airport. This is a small town. Small town? Where are you from? Oh, I was born in Seattle. And I played ball in Cincinnati and then down New Orleans. Those teams yeah, are better off without me anyway. Oh, come on. Population of over 1,400,000. Nearly 575,000 households. No kidding. I am no kidding. Half of them don't even live here year round. In the United States. Hey, where do I pick up my luggage? Oh, don't worry. It'll be at the stadium when we get there. After the tour. Tour? What tour? The what Tour de France. Hartman, I'm Wait here. a minute. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Here's what's wrong. Boat, Your voodoo it? witchcraft that made that boat appear. Do you get seasick? Me? Seasick? PJ Hanrahan? Yeah, nice Please, shirt, Linda. Great. That's certainly not, not helping water? Mr. I don't get seasick over there. Oh. Get a much better view from up there. Up there? Up where? There. Come on up, PJ. Oh, hey, listen, are you, are you sure you know where you're going? Oh, sure. Who do I look I'm like? Christopher Tennessee. Columbo? We're right here on the bay. Tampa, St. Petersburg isn't one city. It's two big cities. So the Twin Cities of the cities. South? Like Clearwater. So Triplet there Cities. Are two independent downtown areas. Set 20 miles apart. But constant so traffic jams make it impossible for you to get to work on time. You keep saying big. How big? I'll show you how big. This if entire yellow on, area is Tampa, St. Petersburg. Louis, Soon all of America Houston, will be part of the Tampa, St. Pete Empire. <laughs> An area of almost 550,000 square miles with a population of nearly 50 million people. 50 million? nearly a quarter of the population of the United States, but if you look at these 12 states closely, you'll, you'll notice that Alabama and Mississippi are drawn incorrectly. Area. Atlanta, Miami, and Tampa St. Petersburg. Hey look, we're coming up on St. Pete now. That's the St. Pete Pier. The our textbook example of how not to design and a building. That's the municipal marina. Did you know there are over 23,000 boats registered in Pinellas County? Oh, happy day. Oh, look. Look over there. That's the Bayfront Center with a 2,300-seat auditorium. There's the new expanded Al Lang Field, where the St. Louis Cards and the New York Mets play their spring exhibition game. But try to start an Second MLB and team in no Florida and all hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. The strength of St. Pete's economy is tourism, real estate, home building, space age electronics, finance, government, merchandising, and health services. Health services? Something Prune Juice desperately needs right now. 50,000 students. It's the 30th largest in the nation. And the Hillsborough system is even larger. <laughs> I don't blame you, PJ. Public schooling makes me nauseous, too. Own homes, bank accounts, stocks and bonds, and get reliable pension and Social Security income. Why, our retired citizens receive over half uh, a Uh, Linda, I think it was a bad idea to take PJ out so of the water. our economy is steady, in good times and bad. PJ! PJ! Hey, 
DJ. Help me. Help me. Oh, sure. Grab on. They can't this. kill him off yet. The short's not even right. halfway through. This is not happening. This is definitely not happening. Holy impractical effects, Batman. I'll wake up in a couple of minutes. Great snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? There, Take a look over there. St. Pete has over 100 miles of the most breathtaking shoreline you've ever seen. That is, if and you see haven't seen there, a shoreline that's before. That's the Holiday Isle, one of the outstanding beach resorts in the United States. Oh, PJ, you're going to love it here. Tampa St. Pete has beaches, marinas, golf courses, tennis courts, some of the best fishing you can imagine. And there are things to do all day and all night. Horse racing yeah, you can stop pretending that you're parasailing racing, now. Clock, it's quite theater. obvious. That's why over 6.7 million people a year visit the metro area. Last year, they added more than $2.4 billion to our economy. If it weren't for them, we'd all be broke. My contract negotiations. I can see you're feeling better. Oh, this flying around ain't bad. Once you get the hang of it. Boo! No, huh? Hey, what's over there? Bush Gardens. Represent. to be the number two tourist attraction in Florida. And they've got a $7 million expansion program underway. Last year, they drew over 2 million visitors. But tourism isn't all there is to Tampa and St. Pete. Yes, is it is. This a booming commercial and industrial center. There are 240 major manufacturing plants in Hillsborough County. And they produced goods valued at $1.5 billion last year. That place is a second in the state. Wow, you must be really Tampa proud of being number two. Center. That big building is the first financial tower. It's got more than half a million square feet of office space and not one inch left to rent. Now there's where our two interstate highways cross, making Hillsborough a major distribution and marketing center. Full of people Almost who don't know how to drive. Almost 29% of Hillsborough County employment is in wholesale and retail trade, much higher than the national average. Education and culture is important in Tampa, too. Which is why many textbooks have a special has over Florida edition. students on campuses in Tampa and St. Pete. The main campus is in Tampa. Then right downtown, you can see the University of Tampa. There are over 52,000 students in colleges and universities in the Tampa and St. Pete metro area right now. And Hillsborough County matches the demographics of the U.S. in sex, race, age, household size, and income. Now right down there, that's the MacDill military installation. Headquarters for the U.S. Readiness Command. You are entering restricted airspace. Army, Divert Navy, course Air now or we Army. will shoot. Has a base population of over 21,000 and an annual payroll of better than $70 million. But how do you do that? Do what? Hang by one hand like that. It's a super strong prosthetic arm. Now if you look down there, you'll see the real key to Tampa's growth. It's our harbor. From Norfolk, Virginia, clear around to New Orleans, Tampa is the number one port in the southeastern United States. And its number one cargo is phosphates from the rich mines of Hillsborough, Polk, and Hernando County. Waiting to pollute Still, the bay. traffic's in everything from oil to cattle. And it happens to be home port for one of the largest shrimping fleets in the nation. The port of Tampa is the world's gateway for Tampa St. Pete products. Electronic components, nuclear reactor gear, illegal fireworks, cocaine, Florida, methamphetamine, and of course, produce from the farms and citrus groves in the area. Okay, PJ, we get off here. Get off? Get off? What do you mean, get off? Just what I said. Get off! Hey, cut it out. <laughs> hey, kids, it's Tickle Me PJ. Stop it, will ya? I'm a righty. Uh oh, went out of pennies. <laughs> Enjoy your swim. Now, don't you think we have a great market? You maniacs! You I'm blew Steve it up! Tampa Burger, St. Pete! I think I saw St. Peter on the way down! He told me I'd be going to hell, but I'm already there! Why couldn't they have sent me someplace like Atlanta? Or Miami? Where women aren't encyclopedias. They're women! You oh, sexist PJ, pig! Just a little overwrought. <laughs> Come on now. Let's go change your clothes. Wait, wasn't the luggage already at the stadium? PJ, you don't have to be in Atlanta or Miami. You're right between, and that's a much better place to be. 
Now go on in and change your clothes. Yes, I don't mother. care what you say. Tampa St. Petersburg might be right between Atlanta and Miami, but it isn't in their league. Yeah. Yeah. Well, PJ, if you think so, look at this. <gasps> you were scared As by that? Fact, I was more scared by your mother at the beginning of the film. Buying power proves, in more ways than one, that Tampa St. Petersburg is right between Miami and Atlanta. In total households, the Atlanta market ranks 18. Miami ranks 22nd in the nation, but what you may not have realized is that Tampa St. Pete as a market ranks 21st, right between Atlanta and Miami. In fact, the Tampa St. Pete metro area is just about the fastest growing major market in the United States, with a population increase of more than 31%. Business, 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 numbers, alone. numbers, numbers. Is this working? Just this year, we've moved up from 26th to 24th. And for the first time ever, we're one of the top 25 markets in the United States. Which means deadly squat compared to the big this. boys. In general merchandise sales, Atlanta ranks 15, Miami 19, and Tampa St. Pete ranks 20th. You know, right I'm starting to the doubt the validity league. of these studies. In furniture and home furnishing sales, Atlanta ranks 13, Miami is 14, and Tampa St. Pete is 16. In food store sales, Miami is 22, Atlanta 24, and Tampa St. Pete is right in there at 25. By 1999, matter, every household will have sales, its own Publix sales, franchise. Drug store sales, eating and drinking sales, and even total retail sales. Say, aren't you dressed yet? I told you, you the airline probably lost my luggage. Cities, whatever, it's the last time I ever fly Spirit. Size and volume to Atlanta and Miami? More than that. Is this the, the right slide? Growing, this looks more like the one for rabbit population growth or something. Miami, those small differences in sales activities won't be around long. Oh, PJ, you look beautiful. Oh. Just like a real Floridian. Real Floridian? Hey, thanks. Just take a look at peopleofwalmart.com. Oh, it's an old Chamber of Commerce stunt. A Thanks, young naive boys. Estefan at work. Okay, break it down. The Chamber of Commerce waits to your tax dollars on a Mercedes for the sole purpose of promoting the city. From Temple Terrace to Tierra Verde, we've got some of the finest all-season living in the country. No wonder real estate values are increasing throughout the market. Beautiful weather, beautiful surroundings, building starts are up. And of course, where there are suburbs, there are shopping centers. 140 of them to be exact, including giant new complexes like Countryside Mall in Clearwater and Tampa Bay Center in Tampa. Where else in would Tampa Bay Center be Des Moines? The center square footage has more than doubled, an increase of over 8 million square feet. And department store sales have increased 81%. Math is hard. Fact, Let's go since shopping. In 1970, major retailers like Federated Stores, Associated Dry Goods, Mercantile, Ivy's, and Skaggs Albertsons have moved into our market. With all there is to choose from, we've got the best of everything. Until Amazon takes and over the world, sunset. of course. Isn't it beautiful? It sure is. Sunset? Oh my goodness, we've got to get out of here. There's a game tonight. A game? I don't know any of the plays. Don't I don't blame you, Prune Juice. Nobody does. Reed, Hanrahan, read. I was elected Linda. to lead, read, not PJ, to read. You're going to fry me. Linda. PJ, later with that stuff, will you read? But, but Linda, this isn't a playbook. This is a book about SMSAs and ADIs. And, and BLTs and RGBs. little X's and O's? Yikes, that's the Tampa St. Pete newspaper playbook. I must have mixed them up when I left the office. This market has two sets of newspapers? It's called capitalism. It's Read about it, prune juice. Two separate cities, 20 miles apart. Each city has its own newspapers. It's just a matter of common sense and reader loyalty. Hey, these pictures are in color. Wow, color pictures? Well, I wonder what they'll come up with next. Third in ROP color advertising lineage in the entire United States. Turn the page. Buying the Tampa and St. Pete newspapers gives you a reach of 72% of adults in the metro area, with almost no duplication. Except that the St. Pete strip is printed every Sunday. Knows? In the three county areas served by these great newspapers, one insertion in both newspaper combinations will give you 76% reach of homeowners, 82% of professional, proprietor, managerial, and white-collar occupations, 
85% of all adults, some college, and 88% reach among families with household incomes of $15,000 a year or more on one day. And these figures come from the current Belden Associates Continuing Market Study. I don't even know if I'm an X or an O. You're an O, as an O. Why did I move to Tampa? Gives you the most efficient coverage of the metro market. But there's a big plus involved. 54% same-day coverage of adults in the 11-county ADI. So you get a grand total of 845,000 adults reading and depending on our newspapers throughout the ADI. Hey, this is stadium and a half. Sure, Tampa Stadium has 72,000 seats. With 71,999 empty and with seats every game. For the franchise has millions for team facilities and $16 million for the stadium expansion. We've made a total commitment of $33 million to our team and our market. Oh, great, we're on time. They're still warming up. Uh, I think we're at the wrong stadium, Linda. This looks more like a high school team. Coaching job. A winning pro sports team from Tampa? Is. That's a good agree. one. What's so next? A hockey team's going to start up here? PJ Hanrahan has assumed a coaching position with the offensive team. Oh, PJ, you're famous. Tampa St. Peter going to love you. Well, you know... Listen, I don't believe in love at yes, first PJ? sight, but I'll admit this. I think I'm going to love Tampa St. Pete, too. Oh, PJ. Damn oh, it. PJ. Tampa, I love you. Just, just what every dream. promotional now film needs, a musical team, finale. Building ahead of steam, and now we're working harder for something more, to run up a great big score, top what we were before. Man, we're with it, we have caught the spirit, and, and it's all gonna to go downhill the from here. We're on fire, yeah. Come on, just because your team won one football game doesn't mean you have to celebrate like if you won the Super Bowl. You're not going to Disney World or anything. Oh wait, I am. Tell all those boys in a big time, baby, it's high time, and baby, you're gonna hear from me now. Is this a clip from La La Land's canceled prequel, Tata Land? Come alive, business has come to thrive. We live a life that really is downright grand. Sunshine and surf and sand. This number Your should have been canned. Tampa St. Petersburg, Tampa St. Petersburg. Crew Juice went on to become Tampa Left Shark in Katy Perry's Super Bowl halftime show. You're a dreamer, well it takes a dreamer to imagine how high we're gonna fly. We've broken a big time, we're bigger than they thought we could be. So tell all those boys in the big time, if you don't pay up the baby, ransom, we're gonna steal your me. boats. Did you know the original title of this film was going to be a salute to all metropolitan areas, but mostly Tampa St. Petersburg? Listen, baby, and I don't mean maybe our success is here and it's here to stay. We're a million and we spend four billion. So taxpayers, get on your knees and pray. Petersburg on the day. Well, that was the pilot episode of O-Town Riffs. What do you think of it? Should I make another episode? Please leave your thoughts below and be sure to subscribe to see more Tales from O-Town and Beyond.